An improved dialysis service is now in the Philippines through a public-private partnership PPP approach. This project was structured to meet the already high and still soaring demands for renal care services in the country. In fact, there have been visible increases in demand for hemodialysis treatment since the year 2000. When uh, NKTI uh, used to buy their own dialysis machine, supplied all, all the necessary supplies, I found out that it was kind of uh, impractical for us to continue with such a system. If I recall, sometime, some, something like 30 to 40 million pesos that were uh, just used to buy our supplies. There's a lot of difficulty for a government agency to procure this capital intensive equipment. There are limits into the number of machines that we could purchase. So that in 2000, by purchasing more hemodialysis machines, uh, we now had a total of 20. But still, this was insufficient to meet the needs of the patients. Uh, the machines are limited. They cannot accommodate us. They didn't really have enough machines before. During the year 2000-2001, we were operating 24 hours a day, serving both inpatient and outpatient. Since most of the slots are always occupied, so when we have emergency cases from the emergency room or from the ward, so we have difficulty problem putting them in. Otherwise, we will we will uh, kick off some of the outpatients who are regularly dialyzing with us. Given the financial constraints uh, experienced by government uh, institutions like the National Kidney Institute, I think the, there's a lot of things that. Uh, that they can do projects like this. And one of the most significant and innovative ways is to go into public-private partnerships. Going into the public-private partnership mode would be the most uh, important and crucial process wherein these projects would be procured and uh, financed by the private sector. And, well, it has to be, it has to be on this way because we, we, we see that governments really doesn't have the necessary resources for them to go into projects which are highly technology driven like the hemodialysis projects. Basically the work or the, the expected result that you would get from the traditional mode of procurement will not be at par if you go into public-private partnerships. In 2003, these realities finally made way for the formulation of ideas on possible solutions to the problems faced by the country in terms of healthcare, particularly hemodialysis services. Given this uh, scenario, we had to resort to uh, for assistance and counsel from the Build Operate Transfer Office of the Department of Trade and Industry, who sent two consultants to help us see a different approach to be able to provide for us a state-of-the-art facility uh, without much cost outflow to increase access to dialysis treatment, quality services at affordable costs. So the idea then was how to uh, let the private sector participate in such activities. As a matter of fact, when we thought of of pursuing a so-called uh, BOT project in health, I was not really aware of any, any significant projects or anything that had been done on health. Yes, there were already a number of uh, BOT projects at the time, since what's called a BOT program, uh, in uh, government uh, infrastructure, but or in power, for, the, for example, but in health there was none. But at the same time, it appeared to me that it was something that was uh, worth looking into and uh, maybe trying. So we um, invited uh, dialysis uh, providers like the Presenius, the Bibron, and as well as the Baxter, and have a brainstorming with them. Presenius Medical Care was strongly inspired about the vision of Dr. Rona to make high-quality dialysis 
accessible to more end-stage renal disease patients in the Philippines. We have the same goals, recognize the opportunity based on our commitment to quality research, education, and growth. Fresenius Medical Care, a the renal company and market leader globally, understood that only a comprehensive customer solution offering based on products and services can fulfill the needs of the National Kidney Transplant Institute. Certainly there were issues and key learning that were considered in the implementation of the project. And as the results showed, the PPP provided the way out of these problems. It showed a way of addressing the immediate renal care needs of Filipinos. But of course, just finding the right solution would not be enough. In fact, it was made more possible by its PPP champion and other persons who have played important roles in the project. And in doing this, certain key principles in good governance for PPP were followed as well. First, clear policy choice, creating the needed support and preparing the administration for implementing the project. Second, an open and transparent procurement process. Third, value for money for our clinics, combined with a sound PPP business case, such as flexible short-term contracts covering only five years. This was critical in order to avoid the machines becoming technologically redundant. Fourth, acceptance of the risk. For its winning bid, the company took reasonable profit in order to build confidence in the market for the product. Comparison between the second contract and the first one has also been analysed. And lastly, consultation with the patients beforehand to ensure that they wanted this. Because the machines are not limited and the doctors and the nurses are hands-on to us, there's a big improvement to my, to my dialysis schedule. Both sides need to be willing to take some risks and put together experienced and professional teams to execute and make the project work. It's a long-term project and there's always a lot of uncertainties, like political, economic and certain things. Policies and priorities can change with different administration. And there's also currency instability and there's also a risk of not being able to collect on time. Yet, regardless of these consequences, as well as the risks involved, the project still proved to be worth everything. After all, providing optimum health care to people is indeed priceless. There was a lot of patient satisfaction. We were able to have enough of the hemodialysis machines uh, to provide this treatment. Our warehousing problem was also solved because it was the private partner who was to take charge of providing all the supplies, of bringing all the needed accessories and equipment. And to study truly the effectiveness and other aspects of the project, auditing of the pilot projects and results were also performed. Through the evaluation, it was found that clinics participating in the pilot program offered more and better services to their patients at a lower cost than their publicly managed counterparts. No surprise then that the project has been receiving really good feedback. I don't have to wait too long because there are days when I'd leave my office early and then I'd end up waiting for two to three hours. Now the waiting time is much shorter. I think it has been very successful. It's at least 10 years old project. Uh, the initial project was for a five-year period. It has been renewed. There is, uh, I think, all the, all the necessary ingredient today to pursue public-private partnership in health in the Philippines. It is important, however, that we approach this with uh, care, with all the necessary uh, issues uh, of governance that will make sure that every PPP project in health turns out to be successful. Or we are in the process of um, partnering with UNICE 
in setting up a, uh, a specialist center for PPP and health in the Philippines because this is what uh, we would like to uh, pursue in our effort to modernize, to upgrade, and even to rehabilitate other uh, government, national government, as well as local government health facilities. Definitely, this new approach taken by the National Kidney Transplant Institute is revolutionary. Through PPP, more people benefit from the quality dialysis services at affordable rates. Though there are still new challenges like the continuous growth of demand for its services, it cannot be denied that the project has already made a lot of improvements in many people's lives and will continue to do so.